literally like everyone's lives. Uh, and I was gonna drive with Adam today a little bit more because we didn't really can drive too much. But both of his cars are both down. Right? Can I tell them, can I tell them the real story? Yeah, go ahead, tell them the real DJ's story. DJ's pissed because he found out that I stole all his tires. He's been crying because he doesn't have any tires. That's right. And now he won't drive with me and he's trying to make it look like it's my fault. To be honest, <laughs> I'm like still terrified to drive with you and like all the pros. I wanted to drive with you yesterday, but someone it's was like- impossible. There was another Z here that looked identical to your car. I was joking about it. Uh, and I kept rolling up behind him and I saw that it wasn't you. Like I said. I didn't really ever see you once. Yeah. It's kind of impossible. What's the S15 has alternator problems? Yeah, so the S15, we don't have another alternator for. The E36 has like some weird fuel cut thing going on. But we have to head out anyway, because we gotta fly out of Denver in like two hours. Oh, and then you have FD around like next weekend. Yeah. yeah. Alright, one random question. What are the odds that you think I'll get my license at the next pro shootout in two months? Where? Is that uh, Willow Springs? I think you do it. Oh, you just drive every week up until then. My buddy who I always drive with nonstop and pretty even just got his got second place in his backup car. I think I can do it. And then if I get my Pro 2 license, all the comments like, are you going to drive FD? I don't know if I ever will. I talked to Adam about it and it's really cool watching Adam go through it because every driver will say this and I think Adam can, will say it too. It's like a full-time gig. Like balancing the two. Every time I'm with Adam, he's like, it's so hard to keep up the videos and do FD. I don't think I ever want to like be like a pro one driver, but I think it'd be cool to drive like a pro two round for fun one of these days. I get that question all the time. And I get to practice with like these guys all the time, so it, it, it gives me like a really big unfair advantage to all the pro am drivers, but I'm hoping this year I can go to the competition shootout and maybe grab a license and maybe come to one round for fun next year, which I've never signed on a vlog before. But I signed on the sale. Yeah. Pro two is good because it's only four rounds, so like you can do it and you you yeah. want to run a full season. Of doing think? one round yeah, doing one round's dumb. I would just do a full season. But so four rounds, like it doesn't really take up that much time. The eight round thing though is, no, it's enough to where now like we have like a week or two in between, so it becomes a full time gig, right? Yeah. But the Pro Two cars are simpler too, so that helps. Or Pro Spec, as yeah. We call this year. Well, damn. All right, Adam's out of here. We're gonna go get one more session in, then pack up and go home. I want to see the best backy ever. You're gonna be gone before I even get out there. I'm gonna watch the video. I'll try. Right, you want you want to know the the sauce? Yeah. Which tires do you want? Uh, the Federals, and then I have a pair of burner so R. Put on the stickiest tires you have. Yeah. Air them down to eight psi, and air your fronts up a bunch, so your front does nothing and your rear has a lot of grip, and then just huck it in, and just trust. Just, tr just try it. For me. I'll try. If we have time, it's such a short session. That's an excuse. I'll try. <coughs> I'll give it a shot. Okay. I'll see you like never again.
All right, so usually he does two laps and comes back for a replacement. He did two laps, didn't come back. He did three laps, didn't come back. And that's what happens. So you see this? It's supposed to be a flare in front of a flare, which is gone. It looks like a motorcycle tire. Oh no, that was a real tire. Over here, something's missing. I hope you have fun, TJ. I'm gonna show you guys something that I've recently installed on the truck that I absolutely love. This is my new Decked truck bed organization system. Decked makes organizing, accessing, protecting, and securing anything you need super easy. This Decked system has two truck bed length drawer systems that easily slide in and out and are accessible at waist height. This system is extremely durable and these drawers can store up to 200 pounds of weight and you can also store up to 2,000 pounds on top of the system. This Decked system is truly great for anyone who just wants to organize or store things inside the truck bed and keep them safe. You're able to throw locks on the end of these drawers. And also once your tail bed is up, these drawers are not able to open anymore. So anything you put in there is secure and safe and it's also weatherproof. There's tons of options if you want to organize stuff as well. You can get drawer systems, you can get cubbies, you can get removable boxes, tons of things to suit everyone's needs. And a few of my favorite things about this is on all four corners of the system, you have these ammo crate cases that if you wanted to throw in like an easy thousand rounds, maybe even 1500 rounds of ammo, you can throw those in the buckets which for all my gun guys out there i know you're gonna appreciate and you really gotta appreciate the attention to detail here for those who have a truck and you're oftentimes going to measure things quickly or get some screw and bolt diameters or conversion measurements or anything it's pretty cool to have that this thing wouldn't be complete without our beer opener so glad they added that too Dex is made here in the usa and everything is warranted up to three years with no hassle and if you guys go to deck.com forward slash tj hunt you can get free shipping on your deck system be sure to click the links down below or just go to deck.com forward slash tj hunt to get free shipping. Thank you so much for Deck for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back to it. For four. Okay, was Makes it up it. on the bank or something? Yeah, with the rest of the tire. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, we found the missing pieces. So now I think the only reasonable thing we can do is give it away. So how do we give it away? That's the real question. Is this salvageable? Probably. We'll get rid of it anyway. Um, and you guys want this? I'll pay you for it. You don't need to pay me for it. I don't know how to do it like... Just do it. I don't want to be responsible. This is sharp. This is like fiberglass. This, this will not feel good if you get it in your hand. Right. Uh, I'll, we get I'll, the same number? <laughs> I'll pick a number between 1 and 20 and then I'll just like call off random people and the first person that gets it, gets it. Sound good? Okay. I have a number. I sound it. Alright guys, just raise your hands and I'll pick someone and then we'll just go from there. 11. Nope. 7. Nope. Glasses in the back. Six. No. Two. Tall guy in the back. Seven. Come on, it's already been called. <laughs> no. <laughs> Three. There you go. <laughs> Guys, the number was 17. No one said 17. Oh, yeah. <laughs> White glasses in the back. Set. Seven. Seven. Yeah. All right. That's all I got. I don't have anything else. Sorry, guys. All right, I'm going with Dutt and his S2000. <sighs> Hope he doesn't kill me. We don't even have harnesses, just seat belts. No harnesses. You hold on to it, you want to keep it? It's not sketchy at all.
<laughs> the difference in motorsport, like, is so crazy to me. I know, dude. The crazy thing is, I have the same reaction in the car with you as you do with me. It's it's so different, but it's so cool to see, right? Yeah, it's like holy. F That's how I feel. It's like I. I'm glad I'm not driving that car. That's how I feel. That bank. It, I mean, I wish people could be in car. Like seeing out, yeah. it just doesn't even. That was so fast, <laughs> so like much G's. I'm like, this is just an That was it. <laughs> I, I don't want to die. I'm like, we're gonna lose grip. We're going into the wall, and this is how Dustin and I die. <laughs> Mission accomplished. There. I just want to say how proud I am of this car. Literally, in the rain, in the heat. Back to back to back, three days straight, the car drove phenomenal. No mechanical issues. We had a, you know, a few issues we were chasing last year for a bit. We did everything and the car is just super dialed. Super, super happy with it. I always go into these events a little bit nervous and having this car perform gives me a little bit of confidence. I got to just drive the absolute hell out of it. And I was starting to feel really confident. I think some of you guys will be able to see that in the video. Starting to, and, and you'll notice, look in this video, look at my hand work when we're in the car. Versus my handwork on day one. Day one, I'm like all over the place and I'm scattering. Day three, I really just got settled, found my tire grip levels and felt confident. Slow, controlled. I was able to get really aggressive with Trevor on that chase. It felt really good. Doing really good going into our pro um, shootout in October. So, I don't know, leaving with great vibes this trip. Like, absolutely phenomenal. That fender replacement, I know it looks bad, but that's a, like one panel, like, bolt on, bolt off. It's amazing. Time to load this thing up and go home. While we're out here, we're meeting up with uh, Life of Paulo, some of you guys might know his channel. He reached out and was like, hey, you wanna come by and do an interview? And we had a little extra time today after the event. So we came through, shout out to Aaron, he's literally having all of us over here, I feel kind of bad, but I thought it'd be really cool to shoot like uh, an, an interview while we're out here and do a collab video. It's always fun meeting people. It's my first time meeting Aaron, so. Yeah, have him out here. Yeah, he's, he's, he's <laughs> How's it going? I didn't realize this, I mean, I, I see it now, but this is not what I expected the room to look like. It looks way like. different, yeah. Yeah, it looks completely different. <laughs> Damn. That's what Shmi said too when he was here. Really? Yeah, he was like, it looks way different than I thought it was. It does, it looks completely different. Of course, I'm honored, man. Yeah, we're gonna do a, a full interview today, try to get into some cool topics that maybe you haven't discussed on camera Actually, before. Here's actually, like you can tell my voice is kind of gone. My elbow, like, it's- 7,000 feet yeah, right Yeah, look at that camera. <laughs> You're gonna look at this guy right here. You got it. We're in the area. Thank you, bro. I appreciate it. And... Yeah, man. Um, I appreciate it. at some point, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know when this will be live. But probably within a week or so. Okay. When it goes live, I'll probably post it in the description of the vlog. You guys can watch it. A lot of really good questions, questions I haven't heard before. So appreciate you coming yeah. out, man. I have a lot of respect for what you do, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate I'll it. see you soon. Yeah, absolutely. All right, boys, time for dinner. And then we're gonna go to bed. I'm so tired. All right, well, this is what's gonna conclude our trip. I think today we had the best driving we we've had the whole entire event. Felt the most comfortable, had a really good time, and uh, we're just exhausted. So I don't think this video is going any longer. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, because if you guys liked it and there's a lot of positive feedback on it, we can do it more often. Big shout out to Valvin for making today happen, or this whole event happen, and I'll see you guys back at home. Peace out, and keep moving forward.